hey everyone welcome back to my channel my name is siobhan if you're new here welcome and welcome to the mom cave that is currently under a mini makeover and as you can see this thing behind me this has never been shown before so you're good in first access the mom cave is not completed i still have a lot of work to do <clears throat> excuse me i still have a lot of work to do because uh, you know life is happening at the same time i work full time and i also have you know this business to run along with you know family life taking care of the kids dropping my daughter to cheer practice girl scouts after school volunteer pta i'm a pta vice president this year so i have my hands full this year not complaining i love it because it really helps me to keep going and it something for me to do that i love so i'm going to show you a little status of the mom cave from this angle everything looks pretty good it's like oh my god it's gorgeous and it's all done but there's a lot of things left to do because i am taking my time to really design and design each particular area of this room if you don't know me by now i'm very particular with things i like to come up with my own look my own concept my own creativity i may get inspiration from places like pinterest so if i see something i like i may put my own twist on it but for the most part these are just my ideas and as they come to me i execute them in this room so one thing that I worked on last night, I'm also getting ready to go out to get some more stuff for the room. Need to go to Ikea. We're gonna go look for some shrubs to plant in the backyard. I'm gonna get a quote. And let me just show you what's happening. So major difference when I turn the camera around. It looks like this because there's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of putting away, there's a lot of throwing out organizing and for the most part most of the bigger work is done now i am trying to make this room functional i'm still deciding on what i want to do with this wall here i did have wallpaper up on it if you see those little glares that's the removal of the wallpaper it left like a little bit of a residue so the behind me is completed i'm working my way in sections that section is completed the this is now a work in progress so i'm going to get another shelf to line up right there for extra storage and i'm going to move this shelf up one of those knobs to make it even and my confusion is what i'm going to do with this particular area my initial thought was to create a pegboard system and use it as a crafting area but I really love doing everything at my desk and I may want to put a stool here to have like a little counter height bar thing coming out because that tray comes out. Um, I added my new sweaters and so there's a lot of things still wrapping around in my head and as I think through things and come up with ideas, I will try to ex execute them. I work on this space during the evening hours. Last night I did a lot, it doesn't look like it, but you know the chaos comes before the calm and um i am you know making my way so this is what i did last night this is a pegboard system from the container store it's called pello board Here in this corner we have it's called bello pegboard i picked up two of these so i have an extra one i also picked that up from a dollar store the guy gave it to me for 15 dollars if I don't use it, I'm going to use the frame. I will take that off and frame something with it. So that's just kind of how my brain process things. Um, let me move around to this section. So here are the accessories for the pegboard. They have things like this pin board and they have this little shelf. You can kind of mix and match and figure out what system you want. So what I did last night was I put this pegboard together. Well, it was already together. I drilled it on the wall, it's secured. And then I had this big picture frame from Michaels from years ago. It came with the glass. I took the glass out and I framed the pegboard. I'm gonna show you from a different angle so you can kind of see what's happening. 
hearts. So this is it from a step, from a different angle. I'm gonna fill in the, the gap on the left and right. I'm gonna put something there so it's not, you don't see that. But this is the setup for now. I'm kind of stuck on this. I painted this gold last night because the look that I'm going for is sort of like, not maybe like a shabby chic um, cottage core, very kind of romantic floral. You already know I'm a flower person. I've always loved florals. And this is why on that first frame, florals for spring, groundbreaking i don't even have to say where it's from if you don't know i will have to reconsider our friendship if you don't know where that line is from but anyway that's the the main vision for this room so do you think i should continue with the gold i can do these little um designs in the corner there's four and then there's like this little line here i'm thinking about doing the line and this line because to kind of frame it out because I think the white looks nice it looks a little bit dull so what are your thoughts let me know on that and the desk area is coming along nicely these are my I think it's, they're called photos plant this is actual plant I didn't want to go with the the fake um, vines for the desk because I do have fake flowers in other areas so I wanted to keep some aspect of green and I think it brings everything together. So what I did, I had these little flowers that are from Amazon. They're kind of like suede. I just kind of hooked them around on the, the vine. And so it would appear that it's a vine, you know, like the fake ones you buy, but it's actually real flowers. And I, and I really love that about it. So that's what I'm doing there. So in that's the update on the mom cave, still a work in progress. I'm gonna show you some new sweaters that I got recently. I will try to link them, but if you follow me on Like to Know It, I do link most of my clothes there and things like that because it's just easier to keep track of if you wanna go and look for things. This is a new cardigan that I got. It's from Alice and Olivia. I got it from Bloomingdale's for a discounted price because it was on sale. It's still expensive. This is an old set that I got a couple, I think last year or year before. I don't remember the, it was one of those Instagram ads. This is my favorite sweater, it's from Zara. This one is from Cider, C-I-D-E-R, I love their stuff. And then this one is from Bloomingdale's. These are all linked, Bloomingdale's, Bloomingdale's, Zara, I think Shein. Bloomies, Bloomies, Bloomies. And this is cashmere, my second cashmere item. And I just want to show you, because remember last year I was excited for getting something cashmere. This is now another item that I have that's cashmere. So on my list for this fall and winter, I would like to get a cashmere scarf. Uh, not scarf, I got the scarf, a hat, and gloves. And then I'm putting my sweatshirts up top. Um, bags are up there. So it's a real beauty like i walk into this room and i'm absolutely in love already so i am just taking my time i will show a little progress here and there but in the meantime i want to share with you my planner and what's going on with that still in the same planner thank god i stuck through it because it feels amazing to reach down to the final months of the year and i'm still using the same planner if you don't know, this is a Stalogy notebook that I combined, and I have been using it since the year started. There, there was a month where I used my MM agenda, and I went, so the camera cut off, but I have been using the same planner, and I will continue with a bound book style planner come next year. I don't know which one. I do have a few that I purchased, and I will do a whole planner video for 2022 where i will show some options that i have and you know share with you in case you need to figure it out with me as well so this is my planner this is my planner for the week this was thursday 
and I didn't plan for Friday because Friday I was volunteering the entire day. I already knew that. I didn't add anything else on my to-do list. So these are the amount of pages that I have remaining, which I'm proud of. And this is what I've done so far. One thing I am kind of certain about is not using this cover because this buckle was not, is it's so annoying. This cover was not designed to be a functional cover because no right person in their right mind would put a buckle with these two knobs on this part of the a notebook cover where you open it, it knocks on every surface and you can't even lay flat to write. But anyway, move on to next something else I wanna share with you is this bag that I got from Ted Baker. I was looking for a tote bag for kinda like my work bag. I can fit my laptop in here and also like my planner. This was $68.69 and I got it from Bloomingdale's. So this is the bag. It is super cute. It's a nice blush pink and the bottom pops out so it's kind of like a flat surface. So if you know Ted Baker used to have those bags that are almost look like um, laminated but this is kind of like a little bit of a different material. It's still affordable and I'm going to use it like as a bag for work. And this is the smaller one that I'm going to use as like an everyday carry if I need a little tote bag. So this one was $58. It's super cute. It can fit my desk agenda, my GM size agenda, just for if you want to reference to what can fit inside their Ted Baker bags on Bloomingdale's. Yes? Yes, give me a minute. I'm fin wrapping up my video and that's it health wise i'm doing good i am doing really good i feel good most days some days you know we have those days but these medications i don't know what it is but i'm doing good and i just wanted to share with you this little update of the mom cave some new stuff that i got i got a lot of new stuff in the past few weeks i've been kind of like down a shopping hole so let me know about the frame I'm really loving that little gold touch and I think it's going to make the look pop a little bit more. So my kid Lonnie is back from Girl Scouts. Daddy picked her up and we're going to go out on the road and do some errands and stuff like that. <laughs> so thanks for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button. If I don't have a full YouTube video, I do post a lot of my shorts here. So you can also find me on Instagram and also TikTok at This Well Planned Life. The camera's over there. I keep looking over here. I don't know why. But, oh, the most important thing, this shirt. Budget restricts. Budgets restrict my creativity. So this shirt came about after I was ranting about doing over the mom cave and I hate budgets and I just said it out loud budgets restrict my creativity it really does and now it's on a hoodie it's on a sweatshirt and a t-shirt and the link will be in the description so you can check it out as well because a lot of times I want to do things and if I have a strict budget I may not be able to do what I want but this is not financial advice do whatever you can and do what you can afford but I just love the saying <laughs> So thanks again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.